it going? Go see Richard today. Um, just giving you guys a quick update. You won't be having any videos for probably about two weeks going into quarantine here. I gotta say to you guys, I think you might need to take care of the current illnesses that are about. Stock up on some time and I'll have some. I tested today. Uh, my temperature yesterday is perfectly fine. As of this morning, I didn't have a thermometer, but I crashed. I totally just crashed all together body-wise. Um, my throat started hurting. All of a sudden chest, splitting headache. Uh, went for a quick walk early in the morning just to try and get some cool air and thought it'd be a good idea. But again, if there's anyone I crossed the street, stayed away, things like that, just to try and see what was going on. And uh, after temperature check, I'm currently sitting at about, last I checked, I was sitting at about 38.5. Currently, it's already come down a bit. I'm sitting at 37.5, which is good. Um, but yeah, when I say 38.5, that's like 101 degrees Celsius, or sorry, Fahrenheit. See, scrambled eggs for brains. Um, but a lot of people are gonna go through a lot of the sicknesses going around right now, whether it's flu, cold. Couldn't tell you. I, can't really get tested to see if it's any of the crazy virus that's going around right now because I'm leaving the tests to the people that need it. Like we're talking the elderly, the infants, people dealing with children. As we all know, um, there's a shortage of tests right now. I did call 811 to see if I needed to go and get checked and they're telling me you're doing all you can do because if it is that good old C-19, there is absolutely nothing they can do for me anyway at the hospital unless I am having respiratory issues from which I would not be able to be talking to this camera right now, which is why I'm making the video now. I'm making the video now to say why you're not going to see anything on the channel because I will be self-isolating, which is super important. And just to let you guys know to stay safe, stay healthy, I'll give you guys updates as I go. And um, if I do end up taking a turn for the worst or something. I'm sure you guys will hear about it. So thanks again for watching. So just another quick update. I've gotten through the headache. I've gotten through the fever. It came and went at least three or four times within three days. And I think the highest I tested was 102. It got really warm. <laughs> thanks to having Meeks around. Mika, come here. Who can't feel better when you have such a little fluff like this? <laughs> so she's been helping me get through. <coughs> Still got the <coughs> cold <coughs> aspect of it. And getting the solid crap out of my lungs. Um, I could definitely see how somebody with respiratory problems would just destroy them. For those of you that have reached out to me, because I've posted it on certain social medias uh, about this and asking me, are you going to get a test to see if you're positive for the virus that's going around? And the answer is no. The reason why is by me going from here to a test site to get tested, just to be told that, okay, you're positive. Well, there's no cure for this. If I needed a ventilator, if I was in like some emergency scenario, then of course I would go get tested and I would end up on a ventilator. If for some reason I couldn't breathe. That being said, this is also what's happening when you call certain numbers, as I've mentioned before. Um, they're telling you, please, you're showing symptoms. Don't come in unless it's dire. And I get it. You want to know if you have this thing, but if, even if you get it, all you're doing is getting an A on a blank assignment. That's the best way I can put it to you. So you know you have it, you know you need to separate. Either way, if you get sick, you should be separating yourself from your family anyway, because how it handle or how your immune system handles it is completely different than someone else. Just like the flu, just like anything. Anyway, stay safe. If you think you're coming down with something, try your best to stay away from other people and family members. And 
again, just keep up your social distancing. I know it's hard, but I'm out and about all the time. If I'm not working, I'm adventuring and I'm still finding ways to do this. I sure hope you guys can too. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe out there and stay healthy.